A Gwinnett County judge preparing to answer for her alleged role in a case involving the sex offender who helped create Dragon Con. CBS 46's Ashley Thompson is in Lawrenceville tonight after hearing opening statements in Judge Katherine Schrader's trial. Gwinnett County Superior Court Judge Katherine Schrader is used to being on the bench. Today, she's a defendant charged with computer trespass. In court, we learn just why Schrader believed District Attorney Danny Porter was hacking into her computer. Several documents were printed on the computer, that, the printer that Judge Schrader has in her chambers. What happens on another day? Out comes an 18-page police incident report, something she did not have access to. Schrader contacted the county's IT department, but they couldn't solve the issue. I remember clearly that day, um, I think uh, Judge, uh, Judge Schrader was, uh, was frustrated and she kind of <coughs> said, uh, yeah, I'm going to get the a PI involved, I'm going to get the GBI involved, I am going to get... Uh, I'm going to get to the bottom of this. So Schrader hired private investigators to look into the alleged hacking. They, in turn, hired registered sex offender and Dragon Con co-founder Ed Kramer to investigate. A search of Kramer's home revealed he was working for the judge. It was brought to my attention that there was a folder that was labeled Judge Schrader on that device that was seized. From Several witnesses were called to testify today, including District Attorney Danny Porter. Mr. Porter, have you ordered anyone in your office to surveil or put any sort of network issue, network intrusion into Judge um, Trader's computer? No. I mean, nobody likes to be accused of a crime. Ed Kramer has entered an Alford plea. He is expected to testify, and we could hear from him as early as tomorrow. In Gwinnett County, Ashley Thompson, CBS 46 News.